Well, good Wednesday morning. Yes, here we are again. We got a lot of slush and stuff. Got to wear your boots around here. Yeah. It could have been worse. It's warming up pretty nicely. But as you can see, here's our driveway. So, here's the water running off the house next door in the corner. Everything's melting really good. We got the walkways shoveled the uh, slush uh, this morning. <clears throat> the big van has a leak and I can't find it. Everything's soaked here. And don't seem to be anything going in here. But everything's soaked. Soaked right down to the... All this. I don't know. I'm give up on this. I can't find out what it is. It's leaking all over the place. It can't be the door gaskets, because if it was, it'd be dripping into here. When I put towels down here, all it does is get soaked, and it seems like the carpet's getting soaked, but nothing's dripping on top of it. I put these things here, but that don't, they don't seem to have any water in them, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, anyways, I wanted to show you. You can see that I can't do any outside projects as long as we got stuff like this. Now this will probably all freeze up tonight. That's a good two inches of water there, I would say. And even more over here. You can see that I haven't been able to uh, do any small woodworking projects like that meter that I want to put on the uh, wall. Because uh, I'm not going to run my chop saw and tools and now I'm standing in this. Even though I got a GFI in the outside outlet, the GFI is inside, of course. Well, that's not what this video is about. I have a very strange thing happening on the voltmeters. the plug-in voltmeters. I'll show you. Let's go into the shop. It's about all we can do today. What I have here, this is my true RMS meter that I've had for quite a few years. <coughs> this is the one I got off of eBay. That don't read quite the same as this. This is my kilowatt, okay, which you can probably see. This was in the house, in the bathroom, for many years, to monitor the line voltage. But I bought another one of these. Now, one of these you saw on my video when I was calibrating it, okay. This is very weird. I have never seen anything like this. And maybe somebody like Jim Asbell or somebody can chime in and tell me what's going on with this, because this is driving me crazy. I calibrated both of these meters with this. Well, what happened here? Oh, okay. It just timed itself out. All right. I'm reading 120 volts exactly. I'm reading 120.5 volts on the kilowatt. I don't have a problem with that. But take a look at this. 123, 108, 17, 118. Now watch what happens when I unplug the meter. Now, first of all, this outlet strip is all one continuous circuit. All right? 
Let me unplug the heater, which is plugged in right here. Okay, the heater's unplugged. Note the reading, the cost of voltage goes up to 122.7. Okay, that's understandable. 122.6 on the kilowatt. 123, 123. Okay, 122.6 and 123, that's fine. I calibrated these to both read 123 volts. That's fine. I can understand that. But why does it drop to a crazy reading? And I can't find my plug. Here it is. When I plug in the electric heater, 350 watts. That's what it's drawn. It's 118 now. This was still reading 123. When I adjust this and this to read 120, and when I pull the heater, then my readings are higher. In other words, it's not reading the voltage in a, on a linear scale. Now, I don't have a calibrated AC power supply where I can crank it up to 123.5 and, re and lower it and raise it. I don't have a power supply. I have to depend on the line voltage fluctuation. But w look at why am I getting these readings? This thing here stays right here at 123. This one is sitting at 118. The kilowatt's 120.8. The true RMS meter is 120.4. I, like I say, I don't have a problem with the fraction of a volt. What I'm having a problem with is this crazy readings here. Pull the heater once again, okay? Note both voltmeters. Both are reading 123. 123.1 on, 123 here to 0 0.1, 0 0.5, it's varying. 123. Point two. All right. Why are they doing this? I have a marked meter number two because this is the one I, I just got this. I bought another one of these. I bought this a few weeks back, maybe almost a month ago. Then I decided I want another one to put into the bathroom because this one goes into the kitchen which is on one leg of your 220, which is 120. The one that's in the bathroom is on a different circuit on the other leg, so there's a difference in reading. But right here on this outlet strip, this outlet strip is all on one circuit. The whole shop is on 120 volts. Now, I take this and put it down here, 123, 123.2. Now this is reading 124. Well, it's varying. So, okay. So I can't argue too much about that. They're pretty close. 123 here. All right. And this one now is reading 124. Plug in the heater. Remember now, this outlet strip and this outlet here is on the same circuit. There's 120 volts coming in to the shop on a 20 amp circuit 12 gauge wire 118 123 heat is plugged in 121.1 120.6 why are these meters reading crazy like that this is a mystery maybe some of you tech savvy guys will under maybe you can give me an answer I've opened up both these meters for the past half an hour playing around. I get them calibrated. They're right on the money. With no heater plugged in, this, well, now it's reading 124. This is 123. This is 123.2. This is 123.3. So I don't know. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. I can see if I had one meter on one leg, in other words, you know, your power comes in, the neutral's in the middle, your hot side in the, in the electrical panel is 
120 here, 120 here, and across these two is 220, okay? But I'm only connected between the neutral and one leg. In other words, 120 volts. That's what's coming in here. This shop is not set up for 220. There's no need for that. So why am I getting two different readings? And they seem to jive until I plug in the heater. Now, when you plug in the heater, the entire voltage drops down a couple of volts. But the both of these meters should drop down the same, and they don't. 123, 123, no heater yet, 122.9. So right now, that meter is perfect. So I had calibrated it with this and this because they both jive, okay? But as soon as you plug in the heater, it don't matter why I can plug it in over here, I get 118 here, 120.9 here, 123, that hasn't dropped at all, and 120 here. All right, let's take it out of here. <sighs> Fits tight. Let's put it in over here. Now you tell me, I don't know what's going on with this. Now, I opened it up and I calibrated it. For, I set both of these for 120 with the heater plugged in. There's the heater right here. And then when I unplugged it, the readings were, one was real high and the other one was uh, off and real low. So, I don't know what to say. These are cheap meters. They're probably uh, $10, $15 counting the shipping. But why am I getting these crazy readings with the heater plugged in? I got these for monitoring the line voltage in the house, and lately our line voltage has been pretty good. All right, so unplug the heater one more time. Both these meters are reading 123 with no heater plugged in. 122.9, so all intents and purposes, that's 123 volts. I'm reading 123.1 volt, no heater is plugged in. Here it is right here, okay? The kilowatt showing 123 even, and both of these meters are showing 123 even, 124 now. All right, I don't care if it's one volt fluctuation, but it should be even. All right, we'll plug this heater in here. This hasn't dropped at all. This is 118. This is 120, and this is 120. I don't know what's going on. I am at a loss. Why am I getting two different readings when I plug in the heater and it's all on the same circuit? It don't make sense. My kilowatt don't change. This meter here doesn't change, other than when you put the load on like it is now, it pulls it down to 120 volts. Okay, that's fine. It's pulling it down to 120.6 volts here. It's only 118 here, so this is reading low, and this is reading high. This don't drop at all. I don't know. But that's the end of the video. I'm at a loss. It don't follow logic.